Welcome to the show, After Buzzers. We are doing another episode of Love and Hip Hop. This time we're in New York. We are on season nine, episode one, Jail, Drugs, and Shootings. It's just a bunch going on this season. Arrested Development is the name of this episode. Stay tuned for all this and more. You're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz I might actually have to download this one. I know, okay, surprise. There's a little beat to it. <laughs> but unfortunately, the people in Dykeman weren't yeah, feeling no, that they I booed don't. him. <laughs> it wasn't street enough for them. But anyway, I'm your host in this conversation piece. Thanks for tuning in with us. Yes, what's up, everyone? Back again. We're in New York. I'm Kayla Renee. Yeah, so overall, what do you think about this episode? Is this like your favorite franchise? Girl, this was a breath of fresh air. I was like, oh, I can finally breathe. (laughs) Storylines, I can finally think that these are real because we didn't heard about them like all year. So it's like, I don't feel like anything is fabricated right now as Mm. of just yet. But yeah, I was super here for everybody's storyline. Yeah, overall, I think this episode, I feel like New York is going to bring it. They have like this whole cinematic effect. You got jokes. Oh, button on the I know his opening like, intro. Narrating. Hello. Okay, they stepped it up a notch. They got a whole like uh, film, not a film crew, but you know, like a whole another. F- like feel production wise yeah so I'm like not it. gonna lie I like their introductory like scenes like how they start off and then end like the season finale how they do kind of like you know every every cast member they'll like check in and then how at the beginning it's like every cast member they'll do like their introductions or whatever I like those little little flow of it and this yeah. one was super unique yeah I think all the other franchises they have to like step it up but you yeah. know what I heard they actually got rid of the old production so maybe oh. this may be like the new way. Oh, I got a whole new team. Like. Yeah, I think <laughs> that's what happened. So we'll get right into it. So uh, Sin and Joe. Oh, I love them. I'm so here for them. Who would have thought they would have ended up together? I definitely didn't think that. And I was like, it's funny to see, like, Joe and Tahiri were, like, right there in Times Square about to get married. And then it was like, Sin, we last seen her with, like, Erica Mena. So it was like, we thought she was a whole lesbian. But you know what's funny? I kind of looked at Tahiri on the flashback. She kind of looks like Sin. So he ha- definitely has the type. <laughs> she looks like her. I don't kinda know. Kind of But I feel like Sin and Erica look alike. Like, I just feel like they just look like sisters. So I'm just mm. like, maybe he just wanted a little spicy little Colombian I, mommy. I don't know. Well, <laughs> uh, so they're having some issues in their relationship. They just had a baby. He's Sin's so cute. Sin's not feeling... S- oh, he's so cute. Oh, I just love him. He's, like, making my ovaries single, and I'm just like, no kids. Uh, I rebuke it. Girl, if I can find <laughs> me a husband, I will definitely <laughs> pop one out. But, um, so, yeah, she's not feeling as sexy as she used to be. She looks mm-hmm. good She looks amazing. Me, but we don't know what she looks like mm-hmm. under the Spanx or whatever she has on under mm-hmm. there. But she had the girls out. She's trying to tantalize her man she's trying to get him uh the rubber down by the pool he's just like my baby boy like he's walking around with the baby he's not trying to do anything joe is all about work and his son and that's it so but is I'm this like, another a1 is this another storyline like that Cause it seemed like it but i don't know i feel like Sin, sin's not gonna go out and cheat though as much as she was like in the car like oh i'm about to get out and ask somebody like who wants to have sex and i'm sure it'll be a whole line of people like no she's not gonna do that I don't even think she's that type of person, but who knows? We'll see. We don't know now. I know. I'm like, oh, we'll see. Safari's back now. You never know. <laughs> Safari's going to be sending out <laughs> eggplant, eggplant pictures to everybody, <laughs> or just to send in her DMs. I, I saw a lot of ladies, you know, in the comments who kind of, you know, felt like sin. Yeah. You know, like they had a baby that the baby that postpartum. Not necessarily postpartum, but they're not getting it in how they used oh, okay, to, like yeah. before the baby. And so a lot of women could relate. Like, I don't know what can a person do. She has her mom like babysitting and That's Joe true. still didn't want to go to the hotel. <laughs> so I'm like, what does she do? I didn't know Joe was like a whole 13, 14 years older than her anyway. So it's like <laughs> you are kind of battling like a grown man in his tiredness. Mm. Versus a young and spunky, energetic. Was it because he's tired? 
that's what he was saying. He was like, I pretty much work all day, and it's like I come home and I just want to relax. And she's just like, mm, I want that. Isn't that plant. part of relaxation? I mean, I thought it was. I guess we all thought wrong. <laughs> according to Joe, <laughs> according to Joe, <laughs> I thought that was part of relaxation, but I guess not. So, um, Sin is hot and ready, and Joe is. <laughs> he's just trying to, you know, build a bond with his baby Lexington. So cute. Yeah. So, but. Let's talk about this research in his career. So he was a rapper, mm -hmm. and now he's a a, a journalist. Mm -hmm. So what do we think about his like rebranding of himself? I actually feel like it's definitely a good look for him, only because like he was actually pretty decent. Like don't knock it, everybody. Joe Button had some little bops back in the day. Like I only heard that one. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what is it? Oh, we should have opened up to that. <laughs> I forgot the name of it, but I like I know the words. <laughs> it's like, the song that was in like uh, the um, oh my god the B two K movie. You got served. Look, I'm like I'm like going blank on everything. But yeah, that was a little hit. So I'm just like I don't know. But as he's getting older, he has like that hip hop mindset. You know what I mean? He knows about the culture, or whatever. So him doing that type of podcast is perfect for him. That's where yeah. he needs to be at. Yeah, I can see him doing nothing else. I heard it a couple times. It's pretty good. Yeah, actually. So and he keeps it real. He mm -hmm. he actually kept it really real with Safari when um, they sat down. We'll get into that a little later. Um, so let's get into Safari um, getting all these checks. He, he's bi-coastal. He was in Los Angeles just uh, a week ago. And now he's <laughs> back in New York, uh, ready to Get on I'm mad that they nerves. give him like the same line. Did you notice he was like, "Yeah, I got into some stuff in LA, so I'm back home in New York." Like you said the same thing last <laughs> season, like the last time too. Something happened in LA, and then oh no, that was the shooting. I think that when he got robbed or whatever, and then mm. he came back to New York or something like that. So, well, it was funny to see the guys with the baby. Like it was like they had baby fever a little bit. Like they, they were looking like it. yeah, <laughs> when they because I mean Lexington, he just has that look like. I want a baby. I don't know. The only thing I grasped from that was that Safari admitted that he fabricated that whole entire lie. I still think he did something. I, at this point, I don't even care anymore. I'm just like, we knew it was a lie. <laughs> we knew it was a lie. You confirmed it. Thank you. <laughs> well, it set him up. Uh, he told them about him going to Dykeman, and mm -hmm. they kind of warned him, like, hey, you got a hood single? <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> yeah, because like, I'm like, know. it's a bunch of men playing basketball. Like, you can't go up there with no, <laughs> I don't know. So he, he goes up there with Jacquay <laughs> and gets rotten tomatoes and bottles and trash thrown at him because they say his song was trash. So Embarrassing. I, <laughs> I don't I'm, know. He took it rather well. Like, he woke up, he looked on Instagram like... He that fake scene, talking. yeah, because I'm like, is that how he really woke up? I think Safari really does not care because at this point, he's been talking about so much. He just... People have been calling him corny since he got it's on a Love and Hip Hop. Stand. Or it may be like his brand. Like, that's just how he's going to act. To be ditzy and confused and do whatever. <laughs> Safari know. has a mind of his own. He does. He I does mean, whatever he wants to do. Safari, he has some things going for him. He has a nice look. Mm -hmm. He has an eggplant the size of <laughs> a baby arm. Um, so... <laughs> He, he, um, I think he has some things going for him. I don't know. Maybe he should we'll revamp see. like Joe Budden. He maybe, should. What do you think he could do? Maybe act? I don't think he could do a podcast. Maybe. I could see him doing like some Will Smith movies or something. Like that. That's too high. <laughs> You put him on a high pedestal. I can see. I was about to say maybe like a barber shop, some uh, type of BT remake. She put but you like, on a. <laughs> but like not even like an Ice Cube remake that is like in theaters. Well, I don't know because they had like Nikki on last, like the last one, like the uncut. So and it was like she kind of played like a corny role. But it was like I could see him doing something like that too. Like what well, I I think Safari has <laughs> talent and it just for some reason his music can't take off and we saw that. Um, he's not even gonna love his own city. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what he should do. Maybe he should stick to like being like a LL Cool J Maybe rapper. He just produce, like stay behind the scenes. I think he could rap. I mean, because remember maybe... he produced that Jamaican tracker, like the island track that had ever. It was like Jaquay, it was Cayenne oh, or whatever. Yeah. Everybody on it. So I was like, produce hits. <laughs> he helped Mickey Ghost write supposedly. Like he just need to be out here putting out hits. I don't know. Not Maybe he could, he could do like the LL Cool J thing, you know, lick his lips, keep his shirt oh, off. I thought you was about to say li uh, the lip sync battle. I was about to do that, like fall out. Like, he yeah, could do that. Can he could host lip sync battle. I don't know. <laughs> um, so, 
anyway, so after this whole, like, Dykeman situation, he goes and sits down with Joe, and Joe is just, like, trying to give him advice. And I don't know. I like this mature Joe. I'm here for Joe, because I'm like, I feel like he's the only one that's going to be on the show who's not going to take no bullshit. Like, like no, Safari, you need to sit down. This is not working for you. Find something else. Yeah, you can definitely see um, he's matured. Mm-hmm. He's cleaned up. He's not on drugs anymore. He's really serious about his career. He's working hard, and I, I think that's kind of where the sin feels left behind because it's almost like, I don't know, when you meet someone in a different space and then you fall in love and then y'all all together and then you, do you think you would feel left behind or do you think that sin needs to get into something other than love and hip-hop? I was about to say, she may just need to broaden her horizons a little bit. Like, you have so many different platforms and it's like, I follow her, so it's like you, she's doing like some tea, some little waist snatchers or whatever. Like, you have different little things that you're out here promoting. So it's like, I don't know, turn that into something. Like, maybe make your own sin's own little waist snatchers or whatever and then like, she should just come out with some type of product to kind of help her or get, yeah, into, keep her busy. get into podcasting or something because she's real spicy, Latina, Colombian, whatever. So I'm just like, she could have her own little channel mm. and talk about she her own take little personal. From her man. I know, that's what I'm saying. She could have her own little channel. Yeah, she could because she was giving these one-liners like, you senior citizen, beep. She got, yeah, she's, a, <laughs> she, they quick with the comebacks. Like, <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I'm nervous for and then Joe. then she jumped in the pool like, I'm so wet, daddy. I'm like, yeah, girl. Yeah, she's hot and ready like Little Caesar's Pizza, <laughs> y'all. But I love her. She's like my alter ego. <laughs> yes. So on another note, we have Kim Bella and Jules. They're back. Um, I was really bothered by his, his, his speech. It sounded a little different, and I don't know if it was because... It's some teeth, girl, the new teeth. <laughs> but I'm kind of tired of them, though. I kind of feel like their storyline is a little tired, a little washed. They need the money. That They definitely need the money. And they look like... I think they're the oldest ones on there. Like, <laughs> Are, Wait, I thought Joe was the oldest. Or is he? I think Joe's like 38. I feel like Jules is older than that, we'll but I don't know. Well, Wikipedia. yeah, we'll have, to do, <laughs> we'll have to do some little background research. But I don't know. I'm just kind of like... I'm tired of seeing him. Like, I feel like it should have been a new couple. I... I'm tired of seeing her with this spandex on in the park. Where was she going when she was taking the kids to the park with that outfit on? To the, cl- it was. A- I don't know where she was going. Half the time, I, I really her know. boobs, her butt, her stomach, everything was out with the little kids. <laughs> I mean, if you paid for it, I guess flaunt it. Yeah, I mean, they both have had surgery, and it seems that um, in Joel's surgery, he got addicted to painkillers though. I was, was wondering a- what happened to his mouth because he was like I got some teeth work done and then I was on Percocets and everybody was just kind of like I'm like wait so you got some veneers and you was on Percocets like I'm confused but I'm I like what type of work did you have done? Riding? Did he have gold? Like the gold fronts or grill? I thought they came out. I thought he always showed his teeth. I don't know. I don't know, but <laughs> it's just best to, sometimes if you have rotten teeth just to pull them out. So I think that's kind of what happened, or he, they got knocked out. I don't know. Fifty Cent was clowning him when um, <laughs> he didn't want to admit it, and so Kim Bella had his bag and was all on Instagram, and they were like, "My man got teeth." It was like, where? Uh-uh, Their teeth was too white. They looked they like was paper. too big. He couldn't even really close his mouth. It just looked like he was like like peanut butter was stuck in his throat or something. Like it was just hard for him to. <laughs> Now, it was rule, when you, get, out. when you get the new teeth, you have to get a little shade under the bright white like this because it looks super fake. No yeah, one. like chiclets, like chiclet <laughs> gum. No, it was too, it was too, I couldn't, no, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't focus on the storyline because I was focused on Joelle's teeth. <laughs> That and the the same <laughs> the same outfits and makeup we always see Kimbella in every scene. I'm done with her. I didn't like her look at all on any scene. Um, however, they're going through some serious issues. He's on house arrest. Some of that stuff was just a little confusing. Like, how are you damn near 40 and, like, your mom is pretty much, like, your backup contact? Like, you can't even live with your, like, fiancé slash girlfriend that you've been with for, like, over 10 years now. Like, because he never popped the question. However... That yeah. just seems, like, so childish. Like, what? Well, since I haven't got married, like, I can't live with it. Like, what? That's what she's been saying um, in therapy. So mm-hmm. they go to therapy. They're trying to make the relationship work. He's had some issues. He's been on drugs. He's been cheating. He's been doing everything under the sun. And she's been sticking around for nine years with no ring. What is the point? <laughs> Did you see how she emphasized nine, though? <laughs> she was she like, I've been like around for times. nine years. Nine. Like, <laughs> she was just so, like, miserable. I'm like, girl... I don't know. I can't stay with somebody who's been cheating for nine years. Like, it's just already like, uh, should I even stay with you if you've been cheated? Like, that's already... I normally don't. 
like that summer, oop, one and done. Like you had your chance, you messed it up. So there's plenty of fish in the sea, and it was like you didn't want to move on, and it's just like. Do you think it's because she has kids? She's doing it for the kids. But see, or? that's the wrong reason, though. Like, how many times do we, like, do we hear this growing up? Like, don't, don't ever stay with somebody for the kids. Don't ever stay with somebody for the money, whatever. Like, you can find all of that on your own. You can, there's so many single women out here who have it's raised amazing especially people. Especially when he's a jailbird. Now, this dude. That, too. Like, Joel's been in a jail. Like, this is nothing new. We're all like, mm, next. <laughs> Girl. So, I don't know how they're going to get through this because, one, they're living separately. His mom is taking care of him. He, That's he's, awkward. Like, yeah, she has to come over to visit. They barely got a visit to the park where she wears. I think that's why she wore a little outfit because she hasn't seen her man. So, she's like, let me What was going to happen little... at the park, though? <laughs> I don't know. She thought she was going to get some more action. <laughs> She wanted her man to know what he missing at home. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the I don't know because he's facing up to five years if he does not take a plea deal. He could take, what, up to 24 months with the plea deal? Mm-hmm. And then if he fights it, it's up to five years. So what do you think he should do for his family? Get them a little months. I guess I think but, I think he said something about like eighteen months and like eighteen to twenty four months. You don't think he could like, beat this case of because he said he's on Percocets. He didn't remember. First of all, why are you just taking Percocets just to be walking around town? Like his mouth was hurting. I don't know. We got you see. know when you get on a plane, you take like a a stress. Re- a, a oh, pain okay. Pill. I mean, but see, at the same time, it's like you should already check your luggage. Like, why are you getting out the car? Like, everybody knows you're supposed to check your little liquids and make sure you ain't got no waters or whatever, no lotion bottles unpacked or whatever type of thing. So it's like, you don't know you had your firearm with you? Like, okay. But a lot of people have been getting caught like that. Plies <laughs> got caught like that. Um, this is just like some hood people, though, and I'm sure they only doing it just because they feel like they have to watch their back. You know what I mean? Leaving JFK, whatever, like, you in the streets type thing. So I'm like, especially because it's like they're older, so it's like, you know, their budget isn't like that to have like a bunch of d- security detail with them. So it's like they got to stay strapped. But at the same time, you knew what you was doing. But New York has some really strict gun laws. They so do. that's the so only thing. It's like, and you live there. You from there. Like, no, there's no excuse. Bye. Next. Well, I hope he <laughs> Thank beats you, the case. I don't know. I think you should, well, I think you should take the months too because it's like you did it. It was in your bag. Either way, it's either like a year and a half or like two years versus oh. five years. Well, we'll see. I guess. Yeah. So guess who's been back? <laughs> we got Alexa Scott in the building. She signed to Treyway. That was tiring too. I was kind of like that was a little cringeworthy watching that. Scene. She wants to be the female Takashi Six Nine. Mm mm. Who's in jail right now too? I was about to say. So why was, is that a role model? Like, is that who you aspire to be like? That or? was before he went to jail. And I guess got caught up. So Treyway, this guy is he one of the people that's caught up with Takashi I, too? I wonder because he's What's like his, his manager, Sh- Shoddy or that's Shady. Sh- no, this guy that's on the show. Yeah, his that's name Shoddy. Shoddy. Yeah, that's oh, him. he's in jail. Okay, then yeah, they all they all in. I didn't in jail know that there. was and That's Shoddy. his manager. Yeah, so he has something to do with it because I think he's in like he. He's documented on one of some incident that happened, like some drop or some little setup or whatever. His name is like on it. Oh, so I'm wow. like, yeah, that whole thing is just like, ooh. Mm. And while he was trying to be messy and set up her and Fetty, like you knew this girl had a problem with her baby daddy. You gonna bring him in here talking about you need to have that your whole situation was check. just yeah. That's why I'm just like, eh, I don't know, cause he yeah he was just like yeah. So are you over it? Or are you not? And she was just like, no, I'm not. And he was just like, well, you gonna have to leave the business like outside and then keep it you know strictly just music in here or whatever and then it was like oh somebody wants to congratulate you like why didn't you ask this before she signed because now it's like I'm signed I'm locked in and now you're telling me I gotta be forced to be around my baby exactly. daddy but she knew it she... I was about to say though I feel like it. I, I kind of felt like she was a little set up though like even just kind of um, like foreshadowing a little bit going into the girls little brunch thing that her sin and Kimbella had it was just like she's like oh I mean you know like we're gonna have to like be around each other now we're gonna like force to be around each other we have mutual friends da, da, da. and it's just kind of like and looking at her face her whole demeanor it just kind of feels like you you planned that like you knew you know what i mean and it was just like and i caught on to that it was like it's funny how all of his exes wanted to get into music now we got masika out here singing trying to put out an album now alexis guy thinks she's the next treyway rapper whatever so it's just like they gotta do what they gotta <laughs> do he got 10 kids to stay and, close and no to money no more because when the last hit he had it's been over three years Shorty, won't you come my way? I'm over that. <laughs> I hated that song. I'm it so was, over it. it. Yeah, it was trash. So they got to do what they got to do. She's been taking care of Lele by herself. 
He's been nowhere to be found. He won't take a DNA test. He won't answer her call. He did actually show up at the hospital. He was there for the birth, but then they got into it, and that's what happened. So, I mean... I'm stuck on the fact that why is there no DNA test? Like, you didn't have this whole kid, and you only took no type of DNA test. That should have been done at the hospital when he was there with you. He know he he know that's his baby. He just... We'll see. <sighs> Who else could it be? Because I'm sure if it was someone else, she would have got somebody to take a test so but she then, could get some support. That's true. But then again, it's kind of going back to, like, all the women that's dealing with future. You knew what you was getting away, like getting into. Alexis is, like, what, number six baby mama? Like, number five? Like, you knew what you was getting into. You knew he wasn't. All types of... I think all of Fetty Wap's baby mamas at one point were all on, like, the shade room, all on Instagram, <laughs> posting all types of messages and, like, long confessionals. Going and, back and forth. Yeah, exactly. So it's just, like, you knew what you was getting into. And then it was, like... Even at the beginning stages when you was just dating the man, you and Masika was going back and forth. And it was like both of y'all decided to get pregnant. And now y'all going back and forth for the kids. Like, yeah. now you sounded like Tara and uh, Mina. Like, y'all doing it for the kids. And it's like you still trying to steadily do things to be around Fetty, but he's not some ain't shit type of man. Like, okay, then why still deal with him? Why be around him? I think she wanted to get back at the girls, and it backfired on her. Not only did she exactly. almost die having a baby, but it's exactly you stuck with happened. a baby with a man who didn't want a baby with you. Exactly. Like, and but the th- crazy thing about it is, she was the only one Fetty claimed. Like, m- he never claimed Masika. He kind of yeah. went ghost on her, too. The other baby mama that's from the hood, he never claimed her. Yeah. He just kind of was in the hood, like, messing with her. And then the other ones were strippers. Yep. So, it's kind of crazy that he actually at some point was in love with this girl and mm-hmm. claimed her, and now he's going ghost on her. I don't know. These guys... We got to do better at choosing. She just kind of need to have more respect for herself, too, because I didn't know she was only, like, 23, 24. Like, girl, what? You didn't have, like, you got some miles on you. Like, for you being 24, like, you didn't been through a lot. For, like, <laughs> I, like, I'm 26, and I'm like, I didn't been through a lot, but I think you didn't been through way more than I have. Like, you got men out here buying you all types of stuff, but at the same time, you didn't been with Solo Lucci. He didn't embarrass you on the last Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Like, you know what I mean? Then it's like, now you back with Fetty, and he about to embarrass you this season. Well, um, I don't know. She signed this deal without lawyers, so that too. Like, <laughs> well, I didn't wait no because her lo- her lawyer was Navarro. But Ooh. it's like, remember Navarro from last season? Who um, I don't remember that person. His um, oh my god, his storyline was his baby mama Ashley, and oh. then the sister was like trying to come in. And remember, Anais was his client. Okay, and so that whole little family triangle thing was always like a whole. So where was fiasco? He? he was sitting right next to her, but then he got up and he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna go let the everybody no, know." That was Treyway's lawyer. He's on- I know, but no, I think that's, that's hers too. I think instead of Alexis Lie lawyer. lawyer. You can't have you can't have the same lawyer as your label. You gotta have a different lawyer. I wonder how that was working it, because his <laughs> little lower third was like Alexis Sky lawyer and then he got up saying that he was gonna go like do and her he, paperwork or whatever and tell everybody she signed. So then, it was like And then he went and got Fetty too. So, exactly. So, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's something there's conflict of interest going on. Here. Hello, don't use the same lawyer as your label people. Come on, we gonna get you some we gonna get some game next uh, it's next confusing. episode. <laughs> get some love I'm already pop confused game. by her. So we're gonna get into a little bit of news and gossip and we're gonna play some trivia. Which one are we gonna do Ooh, first? Let's do our news and gossip real quick. All all right, let's do this. So, what what you got for us? Breaking news. T report. So, you guys, uh, apparently, just a few days ago, finally, you guys, Joel Santan, after ten years, finally popped the question to Kimbella, and you guys, they're engaged. Finally, after ten long years, ten <laughs> long, 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 and long he's going years. to jail. So it's like. How do you say yes to that? See, a lot of that is controversy, too. A lot of... <laughs> y'all, I feel bad, because the internet is undefeated. But a lot of people was like, he losing his teeth and he going to jail. So she just had to say yes. But I'm like, you know what? <laughs> that's that's <laughs> just like a man. Wait till you 52 to settle down. You ain't got no teeth. You ain't got no freedom. Nothing else. You ain't got nothing. You, no money. Nothing. Lord. Okay. That's it for our news and gossip? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, you know what? Actually, one thing I just actually thought of while we were talking about Alexis Skye, something actually came out about her daughter. Her daughter is actually battling some type of um, disability where her head is, like, it's holding a lot of, like, water. 
Mm. And so she's going to have to have, like, multiple surgeries to pretty much, like, drain that out. And it may be, like, the, that fluid in her, like, brain in her head may be coming back to the point where she may have possible brain damage. So oh, my goodness. She's already had keep, four. I know. And she's, like, had surgery and stuff. So and let's go ahead and keep Alexis Guy and her daughter Alea in our prayers. Yes. But other than that, that's all our all our tea report. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get into this trivia. I hope you can oh my get God, the girl. questions like, I'm like, right. Oh. You're out of it today. Like. You've, been, you've been sticking around for all nine seasons of Love and Hip Hop. This is all I know. encompassing. So I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Okay. And some of these people may not even be on the show anymore, but this is all a part of Love and Hip Hop. See if I can New York. It. Okay. Can you name all the members of the Creep Squad? Ooh. Okay. So <laughs> that's Rich Dallas, Peter Guns. Uh. Oh my God. Who's the Creep Squad? Okay. Wait. <laughs> It's Cisco. Because I'm trying to think. One yeah, because I'm like, more. wait, they was like battling to kick each other out and yes, then somebody get replaced. Kick, remember who kicked Cisco out? Well, no, that was Richie. I was about, no, I felt like that was Peter because they was about to fight. Oh. So I'm like, wait, who's the other? It's, who's it's the another fourth person? One? DJ Self. Oh, I forgot about him. Yeah, he's not See, on there he anymore. See, but he wasn't. I was about to say he wasn't creep Scott since he stopped messing with Cardi though. Because remember, he was like messing with Cardi and then had some other chick on the side, so he was being like a little creep or whatever. They are, whatever. What does BBD stand? BBOD stand for? Oh my god! You remember that group? <laughs> <laughs> Ra Ali was the manager. BBOD. Then they went. Oh my god! It was the two girls. They were horrible. Yeah. yeah. Then they went solo. Then they got back together. BBOD. Bad bees on deck. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> they were horrible. <laughs> Not All funny. right. How many kids <laughs> does Peter Guns have? I think it's like nine. <sighs> ten. Eight, ten. ten. Oh, ten. Like one Get shy. Her. Yeah. All right. How many years does Mendeecees have on his sentence? How many years did he get? Wasn't that eight? Mm-hmm. You okay. got it right. Okay. <laughs> what is Cardi B's <laughs> sister's name? Hennessy. Carolinas. Oh, okay. <laughs> Carolina. <laughs> and what is Cardi B's ex-boyfriend's name? Tommy. Okay. Yeah. She always I should get all of them right. <laughs> How many babies' mothers does Mendeecees have? Samantha, Yandy, and the other one, three. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Erica. <laughs> okay, yeah. And... It was a mystery boy that came up out of nowhere last season. We were like, what? Who did DJ Drewski cheat on Sky with? Brianna, the other Brie. Wasn't it like Milkshake? No. What's her name? Wasn't that her name? Brianna? No. Bianca. Bri Bianca, look. You was close. Someone to be. You were close. I was like, I was going to say milkshakes, but it was a little soda and a little chicken noodle soup. But this <laughs> One last question. <laughs> We've been getting all of them right. I wish we had the chat live right now. I know. I'm like, but the trivia is going to be fun this season. <laughs> if you have some trivia questions, um, email me, I guess. Yes. Because they can't, they can't leave it in the comments because then you'll know. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. I'll, <laughs> I'll be Googling the answers. Like, I know this is going to be a question next week. How many <laughs> kids does Tara have with Peter? Three. Yes, that's yes. correct. So she's I was gonna say, roll. isn't the tenth like their third? Like mm -hmm. <laughs> the tenth kid was like their third. Like mm -hmm. I think she's the no, last. No, the tenth was Amina's. Amina has three. Amina has two. Tara has three. So the tenth one was Amina's last little girl. I thought Tara has like a baby now. Because I thought she always she had, had the two one? boys, and then I think she has another boy. That's why I was Lord, like, I think... he might have 11 now. That's what I'm saying. I was like, I think... <laughs> I thought that baby made 10. That's why I was like, I don't know. We'll have to do some little background oh, research. Oh, Lord. It's too, too much. It's mm -hmm. too much, y'all. So, um... We got some new cast members. We have Mayno. He, um... That storyline was a little dramatic. I was like, whoa. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Shootings, jail. It's like, these people yeah. are caught up on New York. Uh, it's a, it's hard out there in New York. Mayno is kind of another, like, Kim Bella and Jules, though. I can kind of do without him. Like, I don't really think we need him this season. I think like, it's so much going on that it's kind of like, we don't really need that story. And, like, we don't even know who his girlfriend is either. So it's like, we'll feel compassionate, but I don't, at the same time, I was kind of like, who is this? Like, But it's gotta be scary to go to a concert, because I'm <laughs> Yeah, at concerts, okay. backstage, chilling, and then yeah. 
And then it's like you get shot in the leg and you seeing your man perform. It's like the I thing could... that he yeah, he was like, sorry to cut you off. He was like, um, he thinks that the bully wasn't even meant for her. So I was like, No, That's it wasn't. Scary. Yeah, so I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, You were uh like in the crossfire. Mm-hmm. So it was like it's very traumatic for her. It's just hard for her to even go out and support him now. He's having to work through that. And it's I'm I'm glad that he's working through with her, but at the same time I feel like like he said, he has to go on and still go to this venue and make money and yeah. you know, but it's almost like these guys, I feel like Joe and him and a lot of guys don't understand what a woman goes through mm-hmm. and, or, or they just expect us to get rid of our feelings like oh, I, you got shot, but get over it come see me perform. It's either either that or it's the money. They think that money can fix everything like oh, like you getting mad, but I'm out here getting a bag so you can have Chanel bags. Like okay I yeah, okay, one Chanel bag or whatever two is fine, but it's like at the, same, at the end of the day, that's not what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? Like how come we just can't have us time to do some little things that we just do or whatever I'm like, you always think, I, think, I feel like guys always think they can just buy you stuff. Like, But a lot of these girls, that's what they want. They want to get on Instagram true. with the Chanel bags and stunt on mm-hmm. all the Instagram I wonder girls. if that's her case though like we'll see cause it's like clearly he's like talking about like she has like an emotional like distress going on like physically and mentally so it's like we'll see what her storyline is. I can only imagine because I've been in a car <laughs> accident and it, and it made me like apprehensive it, like yeah. you know when a car comes over too close too you know close, girl, so, that anxiety exactly, <laughs> exactly so I can only imagine like getting shot you been in a closed space you're thinking you're in the VIP you're safe and then you get shot so, Scary. prayers to her, and hopefully, Definitely. you know, maybe she should go to therapy. I don't know. See how they could work through it and how he could be more compassionate. Because to me, it just sounded like, yeah, that's my baby. That's my shorty. But I got to get this money, you know. That's what I'm saying. And like, I feel like he's like, I've been around violence, 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 violence. And yeah. I'm like, but. okay, so you're used to seeing people get shot up. <laughs> exactly. Everybody ain't used to that. <laughs> so, that's probably why he's, like, less compassionate. Because he's probably like, people get shot every day, B. Like, you know what I mean? So, it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Lord, <laughs> he's probably doing her so wrong, but I don't know. Yeah, we gonna pray for her. Maggie, I think is her name. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Okay, so like we said, Joe, he he's reinventing himself. We got a sneak peek into his live show. Yes. Sin stands up and and has a question for him, <laughs> and it was super cute. She's like, "Is this the best relationship you've ever had?" And he gives a classic response, "Of course, baby, I love you." <laughs> They're goofy. So, yeah, it's pretty goofy, but he still wouldn't give her none after all of that. <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, I wonder if we'll get more of that. It's good to see him promoting. Mm-hmm. Um, Mayno's promoting his shows. I don't know about music-wise. I don't think I... Do we know Mayno songs? I don't, to be honest. I remember he had one song. I feel like it may have been like a hit back in the day, but I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, he used I to be really cool with um, Lil' Kim, name. too. Mm. Maybe we could get a little Kim on the show. I, ooh, ooh, I love. What the, a legend! I, I don't think she would come. I mean, Remy's there. I don't know. We'll what see. You, <laughs> the worst I can say is no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been fun, guys. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Let's. Oh, predictions. Ooh. Ooh. And now your after buzz TV. Yeah, let's predictions. predictions. <laughs> so. I predict that Jewel is going to take the plea deal and um, he's going to be gone for about a year and a half. Maybe he'll get out on good behavior. I think he'll be good in jail. <laughs> Let's hope. One can only hope. I'm just excited to see Remy and Pap again. I just want to, I'm actually saddened that they weren't on the introduction episode, but I'm super excited to see them. And I'm just here for Joe and Sin, really. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I predict that he's going to give her the gift that keeps on giving. What and is that? <laughs> that sounds like something I don't know if I want. Because I heard that was something else. Wait. <laughs> oh, my God, wait. <laughs> the gift that keeps giving. Mm-mm. Not an STD, you guys. <laughs> His lower area. Oh, he's going to give her the, the He's going to ex- drop it off. Yeah, he's going to drop off some presents in her box. All right, now, see, you're going to have baby number two. That's fine. They need a little girl because Lex is super cute. Yeah, maybe. But, yeah. Um, who else has kids that they could play with? Nobody else has. Newborn baby wise, I don't think so. I think everybody else is. Well, Remy's about to have. So then oh, that true. baby can play with Sin's baby. Then Lex we have, might be a little older though, but yeah, we'll see. 
Well, he's only five months, so... Is then, he really? Yeah, that's what oh. Joe said. He's five months, and then... I don't know why I feel when, like he's already one. Wow. When did... Re- well, he might be one now, because that was filmed. I was about to so, say, yeah, because yeah. that was filmed so old. I don't know. I think Remy is due in December. Dang, she's like she's, she's been still pregnant, pregnant yeah. for like 10 she's still months. Pregnant, yeah. <laughs> but it's, like, so crazy, because we never seen her belly, like, this entire time. I saw a little she bit. Bar- like, she barely started poking, like, what, a couple months ago? A month or so ago. I hope that's how I carry... I know. I'm going to say, <laughs> stay in the gym, girl. Stay fit. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. That's our prediction. See you next week. I'm your host, Miss Conversation Peace. You can follow me on Instagram at Conversation Peace or Twitter, M I S S Combo Peace. Yes, you guys can follow me on Instagram at the only underscore Kayla Renee. All right, we out of here. Be back next week. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.